Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we want to touch upon an important point, it won't take very long, but it's still important. The fact that the principal planes are conjugate. What we mean by that is that the principal planes in a thick lens act as if they're on the same plane, even though they're physically some distance apart. And really what that means is that if we have a ray coming in from some object, it is incident on the first principal plane, and then it emerges the lens as if it was coming from the second principal plane. In other words, these two points right here are considered one the same when we trace a ray through a thick lens. Here we have another example where the ray continues on this way. Again, it's incident on the lens. We consider it incident on the first principal plane of the second lens, and then it emerges, it leaves the second lens as if it came from the other principal plane, the point on the other principal plane. Again, it appears as if these two points are coincident and therefore we call, call them conjugate on the same location. And so we need to keep that in mind in such a way that all the equations will make sense. So when we find the focal length of the lens that we can use the proper equations, noticing that the distance from the object to the lens ends over here, the distance from the image to the lens ends over here. And of course, this is for the primary image or the first image of the first lens, not the second image of the second lens. And again, the distance between them here is a physical real distance, but when we trace the rays through the lens, we act as if they are one and the same point. So H1 and H2 are considered coincident for all the measurements that we use to find the distance from the lens or from the principal plane to the object and from the principal plane to the image. So let's keep that in mind as we continue with the thick lens.